The fact that people come in and they come to us and they ask for help, there's no better reward than those individuals coming back saying thank you. You know, I fell from this place and now I'm back to it, or now I'm further, uh, I've exceeded my own standards. There's no, there's no greater feeling. Sergeant Brian Baham, Physical Therapy, NCOIC. So I have old school parents, so uh, their mentality was stay busy, stay out of trouble. All right, learn something, learn a trade, go to school, pass it on to somebody else. So personally, I think being able to help people, right, being able to learn as much as I can to pass on to somebody else, I mean, there's no better place to do it. The unique thing about SHAPE uh, of all the Army Health Clinics is we serve an, a patient base of 18,000 patients from uh, 30 allied nations in NATO and 21 nations and partners for peace. So he's working with a multinational force and their dependents and he's providing them with the follow-up care after they get injured, after something like that, uh, to help them get back in the fight. So through self-improvement, uh, whether I'm reading articles, reading books, uh, re in regards to physical therapy um, and then talking to my therapist to try to develop a plan or maybe implement a different plan or maybe add a few things or maybe take some things away from the current plan. Uh, it just takes patience. Nothing happens overnight and you see it here more than anything else. He's been a good asset to the team. He's got a, a great leadership mind. You know, he's able to, to shape intent and uh, use it to, to guide the soldiers and help, help set an example and help work towards accomplishing the mission. So it's a good teammate to have and a good asset to the physical therapy team.